Hello and welcome. Um, thank you for joining us today. We're looking at some lanterns from the collection today. Um, in fact, you may recognize this one already. Um, we talked about this a few weeks ago. This was John Wesley's hand lantern, but we thought it might be interesting to compare it to another lantern in the collection, this one here, which belonged to John Fletcher, who was an associate of John Wesley, a friend um, and a very early Methodist theologian. Um, he died just before John Wesley did, about six years or so before. Um, however, this lantern belonging to him is later than Wesley's. This one probably dates to the 1750s or thereabouts. This one probably to the 1780s. But it's a really interesting lantern, especially in comparison to this rather simple lantern here, which would have had just a little candle inside. This one, as you can see, has cut glass at the front, really nicely cut with a star pattern, and it opens up from the back. And inside, rather than actually putting a candle, you would have had a little wick, and there's an oil reservoir. So effectively, it was a little oil lamp, and the flame would have been reflected in the three mirrors here, not in the best of conditions these days, but it would have been reflected here, and would have magnified the light, which then would have dispersed through the cut glass at the front. Now, the format of this lantern is really interesting because, as you can see, it's very small, really, thin especially, almost like a travelling lantern, and also there are various ways of holding it. Yes, you could hold it from the back. There is a handle there, which has unfortunately come away, but the handle is actually a folding handle, and you can see how it can be folded down. So you could technically carry it via the handle, like that, or you could possibly have attached it to a belt, possibly, or you might have had something else running through here at the top to hold the lantern. So there probably were quite a few ways of using this, um, an ingenious little thing. Um, Certainly looks like it's been well used over the years. You can see that the condition is no longer the best. But considering that it's over 200 years old, it hasn't fared too badly. So a nice little comparison, these two lanterns, and of course also quite symbolic in the Methodist context. <laughs> 